What if I told you that there's a Pokemon that's so powerful, so broken, and so unstoppable that it could single-handedly defeat the entire Pokemon Emerald Elite Four and the champion, even with hardcore Nuzlocke rules? What if I told you that it's consistently overlooked, mocked, and discarded? What if I told you that it's an almost guaranteed encounter in any Hoenn Nuzlocke? This is the Lanoon story. Lanoon, the rushing Pokemon. It's Hoenn's regional normal type rodent. It evolves from Zigzagoon at level 20 and has the ability Pickup, which allows you to farm for items. And more often than not, people see Lanoon as their Nuzlocke encounter, groan, and then chuck it in the box. At best, people will slap a bunch of HMs onto it and use it to smash rocks and cut trees in the overworld, never once recognizing it as the well of untapped unlimited power that it is. And it's understandable. At first glance, Lanoon is nothing special. Other than a solid speed stat, its stats aren't especially good. Normal isn't a particularly amazing type since it's not super effective to anything, and Pickup does nothing in battle. So what makes this thing so useful? Well, let's check out its move pool. Sure, it can learn a lot of really random moves by TMs, but none of that really matters. What does matter is its level up move set. Well, specifically one particular level up move, Belly Drum. Belly Drum is a risky setup move that halves your health, but maxes out your attack stat in just a single turn. In other words, if you can get it off without dying, you should be able to one-shot almost anything on the receiving end of your attacks. But what makes Lanoon such a good Belly Drum user? Well, for starters, it's one of the only two Pokemon in Emerald that can learn Belly Drum by level up. The other is Hariyama. And unlike Hariyama, Lanoon is pretty fast, which means it will almost always outspeed and knock out its opponents after it's been set up. That way, we don't really have to worry about being knocked out from half health. In fact, Lanoon can pretty easily outspeed every single Pokemon used by the Emerald Elite Four and by the Champion. But I'm sure you're asking, how easy is it to get a Belly Drum off with a Lanoon? Surely the Elite Four will just clap us down before we get a chance to Belly Drum. And you've got a point. Lanoon is pretty weak defensively, so most attacks can take it out the turn that Lanoon uses Belly Drum. However, the AI in Emerald loves starting battles with a non-damaging move. In fact, every single member of the Elite Four and the Champion will almost always start with a non-damaging move, which gives you the perfect opportunity to set up a Belly Drum. Still skeptical that Lanoon can pull off a solo sweep? Well, then let's go through the steps needed to pull this off and show how it's done. The first thing you'll need to pull off the Lanoon sweep is a Lanoon. Catch a Zigzagoon or a Lanoon on Route 101, Route 102, Route 103, Route 118, or Route 119. While they aren't as common in Emerald as they are in Ruby and Sapphire, your odds of encountering one are pretty high. The next thing you need to do is, well, you need to get to the Elite Four. I'm not going to explain how to do this. Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocks are pretty difficult, but you should be able to manage. Picking Mudkip definitely helps, and I'd recommend boxing your Zigzagoon so that it stays alive until you need it. But once you get to the Elite Four, level up Lanoon to level 53 so that it learns Belly Drum. Next, we'll need a few items. First up, get the TM for Return, which you can get by trading the Meteorite from the top of Mount Chimney to Professor Cosmo in Falarbor Town. Or you can just surf to Pacific Lodge Town and talk to a man in one of the houses. Teach this to Lanoon now. Next, you'll need to pick up the TM for Shadow Ball, which can be found in Mount Pyre. Teach this to Lanoon as well. Then, you need to head to the top of the Lily Cove department store and talk to a woman who will teach one of your Pokemon Substitute. Substitute is a move that drains a quarter of your health and creates a substitute of your Pokemon that takes enemy attacks for you. The substitute will also make most non-damaging moves fail, so you can't get hit by status afflictions or stat drops. Once the substitute absorbs enough damage to cumulatively equal the amount of health that you lost, your substitute will fade and you'll start taking damage again. Go ahead and teach this to Lanoon. Then, go to the fourth floor of the Lily Cove department store and buy the TM for Protect. Hold on to it for now. Also, go and get the TM for Sunny Day, which can be found in the Scorched Slab on Route 118. Hold on to that for now as well. And finally, you'll need two Citrus Berries, which you can pick up from a handful of places around Hoenn. You'll also of course need some healing items to use between battles, so make sure you have at least four Hyper Potions or an equivalent, as well as at least one Ether or Elixir to restore PP. Alright, now we're ready to go. We've got our one Lanoon, which is leveled up to 53, which should be below any Hardcore Nuzlocke level cap. Our Lanoon knows Belly Drum, Return, Shadow Ball, and Substitute. First up is Sydney. We set up a Substitute and Mightyana goes for a Sand Attack, as it always does. Then we set up a Belly Drum. 
with maxed attack, return sweeps through Sydney's entire team. Mightyana goes down, Shiftry goes down, Cacturn goes down, Crawdont goes down, and Absol goes down. Alright, heal up with a Hyper Potion, and let's move on to Phoebe. Phoebe's Dusclops always goes for a Protect on the first turn, so set up a Substitute. And then on the next turn, set up a Belly Drum. And now, we just use Shadow Ball, since Return doesn't hit Ghost types. And in Gen 3, all Ghost moves are physical, so both Dusclops, both Bayonets, and Sableye all go down in one shot. Okay, now it's time for another Hyper Potion heal, but before going on to Glacia, we need to equip a Citrus Berry. Glacia's Celia will always use Hail, so we start with a Substitute. Then it's a Belly Drum. And you'll notice that the Citrus Berry activates so that we have just enough health to survive the Hail chip damage. Returns knock out the two Celios, the two Glalies, and then Wall Ring comes out and it actually survives a return. Just kidding, it goes down too. We're unstoppable. Heal before Drake, the final Elite Four member. But he leads a Shogun, which always starts with a Protect. So, yeah, substitute first, then a Belly Drum, then kill all of his Dragon types. Pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, so here we actually have to do slightly more preparation, because the champion Wallace doesn't always cooperate. Heal the noon and make sure to give it a Citrus Berry. And then use that Elixir or either to restore the PP for return, because it's probably running pretty low now. Then, teach Lanoon the TMs for Protect and Sunny Day that we picked up earlier. Replace Shadow Ball and Substitute. Here's why. Wallace leads Wailord, who often starts with a Rain Dance, but doesn't always. Sometimes he uses Water Spout, sometimes he uses Double Edge, but by setting up the Sun, we force Wailord to use Sunny Day on the next turn. If he uses Rain Dance on the first turn, just go ahead and use Sunny Day again, because he'll go for a Water Spout. Once the Sun is up, set up a Belly Drum, and you'll notice that Wailord goes for a Rain Dance. This next part is important. Instead of immediately killing the Whale Lord, use Protect. We need to stall out rain turns, because there's a Swift Swim Ludicolo waiting in the back. On the next turn, kill the Whale Lord, and then Tentacruel comes out. Use another Protect here to stall another turn of rain, and then go ahead and kill the Tentacruel. Ludicolo comes out, but the rain is over at this point, so we're now safe to use Return and kill the Ludicolo, the Whiskash, the Gyarados, and lastly, the Milotic. And that's how you beat the Elite Four with a single Lanoon. So next time you run into a Zigzagoon, hopefully you'll think twice before relegating him to an HM Servant. Lanoon are a proud, powerful, and beautiful species of Pokemon, and they should be shown respect. Thanks for watching.